guys, so today we're going to be doing belt change on this Arians Deluxe 28. Um, there's also a common issue where the belt pops off of the pulley for the auger. Um, so we're going to address that also. Basically what happened is when they made these things, whoever made the engines for Arians, they cut the crankshaft a little bit too short and it is confirmed by Arians also. Um, so we're going to go ahead and fix that. And also the pulley that engages the auger, there's an issue where it does not return back to its resting position. So we're also going to take a look at that. We're going to take care of that here in just a minute. Okay, so we got that all taken apart. We're good to go. So as you can see here, uh, it's a little bit hard to tell on the video. And with this guard on here, we'll get that guard off of there. Um, and we'll show you that a little bit better. The way this belt is, kind of sits off of that pulley further than it should. So, as I said earlier, these crankshafts were cut a little bit too short. So we're going to get that spaced out. We're going to get this pulley off of there. And we will evaluate exactly what we need to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this bolt out of here. And we're going to get this spaced out to where it should be. As you can see, it sits off a decent amount. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of that. Impact really helps with this if you have it. If not, grab it with something good, and get a big wrench on it. So as we can see here, this actually started to blue a little bit from that pulley not fully disengaging, it got way too hot. And that's really what started to prematurely wear this belt. Um, so we're gonna take care of that also. So what we do have here is we have some machine bushings, uh, which we're gonna use. I believe these are one inch inside diameter um, or seven eighths inside diameter. Whatever is gonna fit over that, you could even use a big washer, doesn't really matter. Um, we just gotta get this spaced out a little bit. You're gonna leave the drive pulley alone. We're not touching that. That's fine, that lines up okay. Um, but this, we need to get spaced out a little bit. So we're gonna start with three. Put that back on, see how it looks. Three seems like our magic number. So we're gonna go with that. Depending on how thick you get, you might use more, you might use less. Okay, so we got our bolt, just a little bit of thread locker on there. Not too much, just enough. Go ahead and thread that in. 3 24 actually is the thread. crazy tight okay so our other issue that we're having is that when we push down the lever for the auger it sticks it stays it doesn't return back to where it's supposed to like so okay so we're gonna take this spring we're going to put it around if you want you can drill a hole you do whatever you want but on this, it's going to stay just fine considering the angle that we're using this at. And we're going to put this right up through this hole right there. And as you can see, we're now releasing correctly. This belt will not be getting too hot anymore. So we can go ahead and slide this auger back over, get the belts on the auger pulley. All right, so these pulleys are sitting in a lot better position now. Looks a lot better. So we shouldn't have any problems in the future. You know, no major problems, nothing that should prematurely wear this belt. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get this cover back on. We're gonna go ahead and get that shoe back on. All 
All right, so that's all back on and this machine's ready to go.